And that's also like my main problem with Big Room EDM. Did you hear that noise? That's Vanessa getting ready, doing her hair, which usually takes a, a bit. So I just used the Saturday morning to continue working on the song that I, I was still working the entire night on, so non-stop music making. As you know, I'm not a huge fan of headphones, at least not mixing with headphones. Everything else is amazing with headphones. I can sit here on the couch, chill, watch TV, and just do like little ear candy stuff for, for the song. This way I can have a little bit of free time and hang out with Vanessa and still make music kind of. I think she's just not happy that these are open headphones. Let me actually show you um what I did on the song. Like just like little breaks, like kick out for four bars, effects rising and, and like crashes on one, simple stuff. Nothing too fancy, simple stuff just makes it work. I'm a huge fan of only using elements in a song that are actually needed to do something. If there's a transition that doesn't work without effects, I just add effects, but I don't add effects if it's working without it already. Just like keep it kind of minimal. Now I'm just not sure what I should actually do with the song. It's a remix for Alex Jerome's On and Off that was already released on my label and yeah it definitely doesn't fit to the album and it's a remix anyway so maybe I will release it before the first song of the album or um, I don't know maybe just SoundCloud maybe just as a free download. I don't know I will I will have to think about that. Look at this hair guys this was like how many hours in the making? Not at all. <laughs> You've been in the bathroom like for two hours. Well, I've been in the tub watching Netflix. Ah, okay. That's that's what you're doing while I make music. Yeah. But next up is something I I hate. Not fun at all, right? Oh, come on. Like the usual grocery shopping. What else? Well, I have to return something. Yeah, and, okay. Oh, you see? my laptop. My old laptop. Yeah, so, so life stuff. All right, let's do it quick. We are done, finally. Grocery shopping, all that bullshit and picking up Vanessa's laptop shitty thing that... It's you, shit. You picked it for me, I wanted an apple. <laughs> She's right, actually. <laughs> Because this one is like 300 euros and she's just watching like Netflix on it and not working on it. So a Mac is a lot of overkill, but, but yeah, still. that thing is shit. Next time a Mac, okay? Yeah. If I ever make enough money, I would definitely employ someone for all of this bullshit kind of tasks. I just, I just hate them. I, I would have someone for everything except making music. And I would even have someone that takes care of all of these people taking care of all of this kind of tasks. It's, it's just so annoying. Anyways, time for, um, I actually don't know. Welcome to Schiefbahn, the only place in the middle of nowhere in Germany that doesn't even look epic when you do drone shots. Um, that's where Vanessa's parents live, where she grew up. Quick coffee, cake and then back again. Tell me why. You can never I had a couple more listens like on the go and, and here at home again to the song. And I have to say it's it's not perfect. It's not on, on par with the album tracks I'm working on at the moment. That's the main reason why I thought maybe not to release it, but it, it has something to it that is, is kind of interesting and, and has like a vibe, like the emotion is there. I think that's the most important in any kind of song. Because let's be honest, if I would ask now Vanessa about like what she likes the most in a song, she would probably say, I have to like it. The normal listener doesn't really think, analyze, doesn't hear for a kick, doesn't hear for the mixing, doesn't hear for the mastering, not for the arrangement. It's just like they listen 
And if they like it, they like it, and that's it. And they can like something that is actually pure shit. Some people even know that what they like is shit, but they still like it. So it's it's not really all about these kind of detailed things, like the mixing and everything, which I don't know why, but a lot of beginners, and I'm guilty as well, are way more into and way more focused on than actually just making a song that people enjoy. I mean, that's that's like the, the main focus. So get some emotion in your tracks, like maybe have a voice in there, a girl with a nice voice. Like the lyrics, they, they don't have to be smart, but they have to evoke like a, an emotion. Like it could be happy, it could be sad, melancholic, like whatever, but it, it needs to move something within you. That's like the key for any kind of song and the success of any kind of song. If it's, if it's not mixed properly, no one actually really cares. So that's probably by far the, the most important life lesson music making that anyone could ever get. A lot of people forget it. Some people are like beginners and they don't really know about it and they, they really care about like more specialized things because they watch a lot of tutorials, people just talking about mixing and stuff like that. And then there are the people that are already really advanced and they know how to mix and they know how to master and to get a fat sound. But then they make really stupid songs that don't get any emotion from anybody. And by the way, that's also like my main problem with Big Room EDM. Like I'm speaking like the very stupid kind of Big Room EDM. There are several variations and, and like a huge scale, but there are some tracks that are like just kick and then a ravey synth that covers all frequencies and like just boom, boom, boom. That's the stuff I don't like because there, there is no emotion for me. The pure purpose of these songs is to make you jump at a festival and that's not really an emotion for me. So um, I like to have like a little bit of a melodic musical vibe in it that just makes you feel something. I hope this makes sense. I mean, it's like, yeah, I think this, this is pretty obvious that you need to nail the emotion within a song. And I think this remix kind of does. I can't really say what it is. I, I think like mostly the vocal it's kind of has like a cool vibe. I honestly don't understand every single word. You see, that's another point. It, it doesn't make it, it's not needed. For example, me as a kid, I listened to a lot of um, hip hop R&B kind of stuff in English that I didn't understand, but I still liked it. It's, it's more about the feel really and not like making something smart or complicated. Just, just make a bunch of songs and then listen to them and pick the one that, that has the best emotion and then start thinking about fixing the mixing and stuff like that. Speaking of fixing, I think Vanessa is a little angry that I'm spending a lot of time today actually making music. So um, I think it's time, time for another one. of These very special moments. Yeah. <laughs> I made it, like, I, 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 I got it. But um, first up, the, the small um, bad news. I actually wanted to take out Vanessa for, like, dinner and cinema. But she was already <laughs> too angry because I was working the entire day in between. I, I just have to work. I, I don't know. I can't stop. So instead, going out with me, we didn't do anything, and I started working again. But, I mean, the, the, the positive part of it is the, the song is now 100% finished. I exchanged the kick for another one out of my like special John Sign kick kind of folder. By the way, if you're interested in that, down below is the link to all of my free sample packs. The last one is a paid one because it's like a construction kit, but all other ones are free. So just go check them out. I think in the very first one is the kick that I used on this song. Let's compare again the, the unmixed version to the mixed version. It's definitely a huge, 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 huge step up. And I have to admit, I'm getting more and more comfortable mixing with headphones. I think it's now time to sign out because it's like 2.30. It's enough for one day. And maybe, just maybe I will tomorrow take the day off and, and try to fix this. <laughs> Anyways, sign out. Mm -hmm.